God lives and works today. Throughout the centuries, people have experienced Him as the greatest joy and happiness of their lives. But to experience Him in this way, they had to dare to step out in faith. Listen to today's meditation by Basilea Schlink called, God Alone is Enough. The writer of Psalm 73 said, Whom have I in heaven but Thee? And there's nothing upon earth that I desire besides Thee. When I read this verse, three words seem to pierce my heart. Nothing besides Thee. In these words is contained one thought. God alone. God alone is enough. And yet we must ask ourselves, is God really enough for us? Do our lives revolve entirely around Him, so that we desire Him alone and nothing else? Where are our thoughts and hearts during the day? Aren't they directed ever anew towards the things that seem important to us at the moment, toward the transient earthly things? Nevertheless, the wonderful truth remains. God is enough, all by Himself. It's a fact, a reality, and a mighty proclamation which should be sounded throughout all the world. God alone is enough. But who believes that He's enough? even among us Christians. How often we hear people say, without this or that person I just couldn't live any longer. If I didn't have my job or if my health or occupation should be taken away from me, everything would be lost. God alone is enough? Yes, God is enough, all by himself. However, it takes a long time to come to this discovery. I still remember when I was a lot younger how Jesus drew so near to me with his love that my whole heart was set on fire. I wanted only Jesus. Everything else was unimportant. But then in the following years all the soulish drives and longings for human love had to be redeemed. To do this the Lord chose the way of being disappointed by people. If one continues to call on the blood of the Lamb, and accepts all of his chastenings, the Lord will actually redeem us bit by bit. Yes, he's made me truly free to love him alone. Oh, none can be loved as is Jesus. None like him is found anywhere. Tis he whom I love, whom I live. Therefore, don't despair when you're just at the beginning of this way. When we're willing to persevere, the Lord Jesus will truly reveal himself as the one who is enough, God alone. It's a fact and a royal opportunity. We need only to have the courage to persevere in the struggle. Then we will experience that Jesus is with us in all of his love, and in him alone all of our longings are fulfilled. My heart is at peace and so joyful, for all I desire He supplies. I look now for nothing but Jesus, who all of my hopes satisfies. You have been listening to a program written by Basile Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. To learn more about how God lives and works today, visit us at our website, www.canaan.org. That's K-A-N-A-A-N dot org. If you contact us, we would be happy to send you a free inspirational booklet. If you do not have access to the web, please contact this radio station for our postal address. God bless you. <music>